Hello and welcome here. Tony Stark is undoubtedly a wealthy genius and it suits him to be the Iron Man. He has claimed that he can manufacture an artificial facsimile of Thor's hammer Mjolnir that is superior to anything Odin could ever make. Iron Man and his ego continue to push the envelope despite the fact that Stark technology is the envy of the world and is only equaled by Wakanda developed vibranium technology used by Black Panther. The potential to replicate Thor's hammer, which would far surpass his former weapon, is shown in Iron Man Hash 25. Since his debut, Iron Man has always developed new technologies that push the limits of science. Stark was renowned as a master of tiny transistors, a 1960s forerunner to microchips, before he became a hardware and software genius. Eventually, he was able to transform his huge electromagnet inside of a chestplate into the more well-known arc reactor made popular by the MCU. But in the comics, Iron Man is much more powerful, he has developed an AI version of himself and several space-ready armors which can sustain him for days of travel if necessary. Thor is despondent when Iron Man encounters him in Jutenheim, the home of the Frost Giants, in Iron Man No. 25, which was written by Christopher Cantwell and illustrated by Angel Unzueta. This happens during the events of Unworthy Thor, in which Thor decides he is not worthy of his own name and no longer carries his hammer. You know I can create you another hammer, right? Iron Man offers to assist. He thinks of stealing Wakandan technology from the Black Panther and working with Reed Richards to develop a hammer that can fly and produce energy that is a thousand times more powerful than Thor's and half jokes about melting down Wolverine to obtain adamantium. Unfortunately, even if Iron Man were able to create a replica of the Mjolnir, as his past strongly implies he could, Thor would never utilize one. The weapon holds emotional importance for him, primarily since it was given to him by his father Odin and because only Thor is capable of lifting it. Marvel fans disagree greatly on what constitutes worthy, yet Thor consistently passes this test. It would be preferable for Iron Man to create his own weapon. His Thorbuster set of armors was specially created to battle the God of Thunder utilizing Asgardian technology, and he has done exactly that on several occasions. Like his Hulkbuster armors, these typically meet a tragic end in combat, Tony has never definitively worn a fight between himself and the Hulk while wearing one. Even if Iron Man might be able to create a better Mjolnir, Thor values the hammer more for its sentimental worth than for its destructive power. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. See you soon.